In this video, you'll learn how to solve and graph the solutions of equations and inequalities. Let's start with solving and representing solutions to linear equations in one variable. To solve a linear equation, use inverse operations in order to isolate the variable. Remember, whatever is done to one side of an equation must be done to the other to keep the equation balanced. The solution to an equation is represented by a point plotted on a number line. Let's look at an example. Solve for x and graph the solution set. 5x minus 4 minus 2x equals x minus 10. First, simplify the left-hand side of the equation by combining like terms. 5x minus 2x is 3x. Then, get both x terms on one side of the equation. You can do this by subtracting x from each side. Next, isolate 2x by adding 4 to both sides of the equation. Finally, divide both sides of the equation by 2. The solution to the equation is x equals negative 3. Represent the solution by plotting a point at negative 3 on a number line as shown. Negative 3 is the only solution to the equation. Just as with equations, you can solve inequalities in one variable by using inverse operations. There is one extra rule to remember when solving inequalities. If you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, the inequality symbol must be reversed. The solution to an inequality is represented by a range of points plotted on a number line. Use a shaded arrow to show all possible solutions. A filled in or closed point on the graph of an inequality means the point is part of the solution set. An empty or open circle means the point is not part of the solution set. Let's look at an example. Solve for x and graph the solution set. Negative 3x plus 1 greater than 13. Solve with inverse operations. Subtract 1 from each side of the inequality. Then divide both sides of the inequality by negative 3. Since both sides are being divided by a negative, reverse the inequality symbol. So the solution to the inequality is x is less than negative 4. Now let's graph it. Is negative 4 included in the solution set? There is no or equal to bar on the inequality symbol. So negative 4 is not part of the solution set. Draw an open circle. The numbers less than 4 are to the left of the negative 4. Shade the arrow pointing to the left of the negative 4. Numbers along the shaded arrow like negative 5 are solutions. Numbers outside the shaded arrow like 1 are not solutions. Now let's look at solving exponential equations. When solving exponential equations or inequalities, you can use the fact that if two powers with the same base are equal, then the exponents must be equal. For instance, if a to the x equals a to the y, then x equals y. Let's look at an example. Solve for x. 2 to the x plus 4 power equals 8. First, try to rewrite the 8 as a power with a base of 2. 2 to the third is 8. So you can replace 8 with 2 to the third. The bases are now the same, so you can set the exponents equal. Now you have a linear equation. Subtract 4 from each side to solve it. So the solution to the equation is just x equals negative 1. Literal equations are equations with more than one variable. You can rearrange them to solve them for a particular variable in terms of the other variables. Let's look at an example. Solve for m in terms of b. 4 to the 3m minus 2 power equals 4 to the b power. Both powers have the same base, so their exponents are equal. Now solve for m by using inverse operations. Add 2 and divide by 3 m equals b plus 2 all over 3. 
Now you know more about how to solve and graph the solutions of linear and exponential equations and inequalities, and how to solve literal equations. Thanks for watching.